Hello everyone, this is Jenny from Cricklewood Crossing. I'd like to welcome everyone to my channel this morning. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video as I'm had, heading back to America um, on Wednesday morning, but I'm going down to the city, which is about three hours from the country town where I live. And uh, so I'll spend the day down there and then I'll fly out the next day about six o'clock. Um, it's gonna be a difficult time for me the next few days as I leave my father um, behind after um, coming over here for my mother's funeral um, but I've done everything I possibly can to make his life um, secure and um, loved and just let him know how much I care about him and love him um, he's an amazing man my father he, he is 93 years old he's going to be still living in his own home and um, we have lots of help put in place for him as you can see behind me, I'm sitting on some sand <laughs> right now at the beach, a little beach area that we have here in the country town of Port Pirie that I have in South Australia, where I live in South Australia, where well, I used to live, I should say, in South Australia. I'll show you a little bit around in a minute. Um, I will be, be back in town in, in the US, in Orem, um, Wednesday. I know there's a lot of people who have ordered bags from me. Um, I'm very grateful for those that had ordered bags here in Australia for, for me while I was here. It helped me get through the difficult times um, when he was sleeping and just be able to do the things that I needed to do. I'm grateful for um, my uh, other followers in, in the US that they could... Um, sorry, I've got people walking past looking at me wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the ground sitting on the ground here on the sand but um, I'm grateful that I could um, have those who have also purchased ba bags from me back in the US I will get back like I said on Wednesday and I'm hoping to have them all packaged up and mailed out by the Saturday well yesterday was the first day of summer here in Australia it was supposed to be the first day of summer here in Australia but it has been raining and cold and I think it's just prepare me for when I go back because I know it's been snowing and they've been having shocking weather there in Utah and so um, I'm really not looking forward to it because I really love the summer love, love the summer weather but I also wanted to um, thank everyone who has purchased those bags from me I'm going to try and get them out on the Saturday like I said I'll get home on the, on the Wednesday and I'll try and um, mail them out on the Saturday uh, since I've been here, the things that I have been doing mostly was organising my father's finances, organising his home, making it safe and secure for him, um, ordering things so he can now have an electric bed and he's got a new air conditioner, he's got um, so many things put in place, he has people come out and do his gardening and his washing and his cleaning of his home. Um, so it makes me feel a lot more secure and um, a lot more at peace knowing he will have other family members around him to look after him as well. Like I said, it'll be a difficult time. The funeral was beautiful of my mother, but um, <laughs> losing a loved one is never easy and it'll take time to pass. Um, but I'm grateful for those who have been with me and stuck by me through this difficult time. And I want to thank you very much for that. Um, while I have been here, I did bring only one project with me. I brought my um, Halloween harvest or my pumpkin harvest and I haven't really done much more on that. Too busy making bags, too busy looking after my father and organising things in his life. But the one thing that I did want to do, it's been a while. Um, did I bring it with me? Oh, I forgot to bring them with me. I withdrew, I drew, let me just check it here the names for the winners of my giveaway okay I've got the names down here let me just so I'm grateful for all those that um, posted in my comments um, below my, my video on my last one where right before I was supposed to come out I was supposed to attend Stitch West um, but I never got the chance to do that but um, I had a giveaway and it was for my Jane Austen project bag and it was also for um, a, cro a Jane Austen crochet book. So the winner of the Jane Austen project bag is Kathleen Werner. So Kathleen, 
if you want to get a, ho a hold of me, my, I'll put my email below and I will, if you can send me your address and I will get the project bag off to you as soon as I get home and get a chance. And the winner of the crochet bag was Kim Zeman. Kim Zeman. So congratulations, Kim. You have the crochet book of Jane Austen coming your way. Also, if you could just get a hold of me um, with my email below and send me your address and I'll get that off to you. Congratulations to the winners. When I get home, I will be getting my life a little bit organized for um, Christmas and um, for my family who I've missed very much, my husband and my kids. Um, and so I'll be getting Christmas organized and, and hopefully getting a few Christmas bags out before uh, Christmas time. And then after that, I'm not sure what's gonna be happening. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to work at the garden nursery in January or wait to the actual time I'm normally supposed to start in February. I might just think I might, might need another break from all this that I've been doing. But the one, another thing that I wanna do, which was uh, very important for me to be able to do this, was I wanna thank everybody. Well, firstly, let me say, I wanna thank Deb and Kefren from Snug Harbor Crafts, who took out took a lot of um, time out of their retreat that I was going to attend to help sell some of my products, some of my bags and needle minders and, and things that I had for sale there. I can never thank you enough, Deb and Kef, for helping me sell those. It helped me at a difficult time to be able to ease the financial part of it. And I wanna thank everyone that who purchased products from me at the retreat. Um, I received some beautiful photos of people holding up my bags and items they had bought for me. So I want to thank you all. This community is amazing and I just um, appreciate all of you. I can't wait to get back kind of to <laughs> a little bit more of a normal life and uh, continue on with um, stitching. One thing I'm really excited about now is that I got um, an email or a, what do you say, a um, invoice from uh, StitchCon in 2020. So I'll be st uh, attending the StitchCon in June and I'm really excited about that. So this will now be my first retreat where Stitch West was gonna be my first retreat. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that. My husband was really happy um, that, I, that I could go to that because he knew how much the other ones meant to me as well. Thank you everyone for your love um, and your support through this difficult time. And I appreciate it so much. Now let me just show you a little bit of my country town. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to kind of show you so we'll see how it goes. Just give me a second. I've got to find how I turn this around as you can see the little beach behind me. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to ground. So this is, I don't know how good this is. Can I turn this around again? Sorry, I can't see the. Okay, I might make another one and connect it, okay? Give me a second, everyone. <laughs> I'll stop this and, and um, start a new video and I'll talk to you in it, showing you a little bit of my little country town. Bye. Hi again, everyone. This is Jenny. I just wanted to give you a quick um, look at where I was videoing my video, and uh, my latest video this morning. So this is um, the big little beach that we have here in our country town of Port Ferry. Um, the mountains that you see in the background are actually where I lived over there. My farm that we, we had when we lived here is right about in the middle, just above that shed really. <laughs> so that's where I lived out there. This is the little beach area. We have some seagulls flying around. The stack that you see there was the big smeltering works where my husband worked. And this big bridge that you see right here, oh there's the wheat grain silo, some of the beach area. But this bridge goes from one of the roads across to this kind of like dead area I guess. It's like a little island that they don't have much on. Um, boats go across, people go across there. We always said that maybe they should build like a water park or something like that out there. But that bridge is called <laughs> the Bridge of Nowhere. So it's really a cute little um, area. I'm going to try and step up and show you a little bit more as I walk across. I don't fall over here. So, let me just show you. I'm trying not to wobble it too much here. I'm going to take my glasses off and be able to see it. So this side here, what happens with the bridge to nowhere is the 
there's like an area that no sharks or bigger fish can actually come through so people can swim in this area but the other side of that bridge there's a channel that goes really deep and yes you can get great white sharks and big fish people fish off of the, this jetty and further up all the time one christmas eve probably about eight years ago my parents and my, myself and my husband and our kids came down here christmas eve and we sat along the beach and one freak accident there was all these blue crabs swimmer crabs that you can eat and one of the guy was sitting on the jetty and he grabbed one of his uh, crab nets and a bucket and we got like 37 crabs so we took 15 each or a little bit more than 15 each and that was a really nice um, addition to our Christmas dinner the day after so I'm just walking up here I want to kind of show you up here this is a neat little boat area them so much making anyone sick there but I just want to show you when you see the other side of it I might right back across here and many times as a child we would come down and fish in this area get some gar fish I don't know if you've ever heard of that fish this part is really pretty because when it's a really it's a really quite high tide right now but when it's a low tide you can walk all the way underneath this bridge but see how it's kind of the tides rushing around this way and it's starting to get a bit rough this because this is the deeper area so i guess if they got a really high tide <laughs> this is say what fish could jump over huh It's a really pretty area just to sit. They've got a grass area where people come when it's warmer and sit down and have little barbecues and stuff. It's part of the town. So this is like a fishing and sporting and smeltering town. Like I said, over there, that's where my husband works. It's really, really pretty. They have a skate park there for the kids. So I just, I was sitting down right there on those rocks, taking the video. <laughs> so I was hoping that we didn't have a high tide and that I could actually feel it from underneath the bridge, but that didn't happen either. I didn't feel like swimming today, it's kind of cold. Anyway, I will close now and I want to thank everyone for watching the video. If you need to get a hold of me, I'm under Instagram, under Cricklewood Crossing. I have an Etsy shop that's under Quicklewood Crossing that has only has a few things in it at the moment. Hoping new things for 2020. And if you want to watch me here, I'm under Cricklewood Crossing too. Grateful for everyone for their love and support. Have a good week. Bye guys. Good morning everyone. This is Jenny from Cricklewood Crossing. I'm grateful that you could join me for my on my channel today. Um, it's Saturday the 7th of December. And as you can see, I'm back in uh, some familiar territory. I arrived home from Australia uh, about two days ago uh, from going over to um, my mother's funeral and to spend some time with my father after she had passed away. It was a tough two months, I must say. Um, and even coming home <laughs> when I was on the flight, I was running to the plane, uh, some planes to be able to make them and it was the final call on some of them. So it was a, and then as I got to LA and I had to fly to Salt Lake, there was massive fogs in Salt Lake that they couldn't land. 
and they diverted us to Colorado, Montrose, Colorado, for like three hours. So I, by the time I got through, I was like five hours late. I was so happy to see my husband. And um, after eight weeks, it was it was a long time to be away. Um, but I'll treasure every moment that I have had with my father. It's hard to say. It probably could be the last time I had seen him. He's 93. I'm hoping that that, that won't be the case, that I might be able to get back in a couple of years to, or even next year, to be able to to um, see him and spend some more time with him. While I was there, I did lots of um, fun things, but then there was lots of times I just sat and watched him as he slept in his chair and thought about my life and a lot of things that have happened and come up with a lot of new ideas for 2020 for the business. So I'm all excited about that part of it. Uh, if you have just watched the first part of the video, I thought I'd make this part and kind of join it together. When I was away, I stitched quite a few bags and I'm very grateful for the Australian um, people that who purchased the bags off of me. And I also had a lot of you wonderful um, American followers who also purchased bags from me. If you can see probably right there, they're all packed and ready to go. So straight after this video, I'll be going to the post office. So look for your little Chrissy gifts for yourself <laughs> in, um, in the mail coming up this week. I stayed up quite late last night just to get them done because I had promised everyone that I'd do that. Also in my last video, I had said that I had um, announced the winners of my my prizes for the video before, before I went away to Australia. And I was sitting out on the beach, <laughs> actually kneeling on the beach um, in front of my iPad while I was videoing it. It was quite windy and it was quite loud, so I'm sorry about that. And I wasn't quite sure if everyone had heard it properly. So I will, I'll re-announce those winners in a second. Um, it was quite funny because as I was kneeling down, I was there was a rock, a rock wall and I was kneeling down on the sand videotaping it and these people were walking past they'll probably sit there thinking I was praying now um, I did I've had quite a few prayers in my heart over the last couple of months and um, but it was just kind of funny them watching me as I kneeled on the ground on the ground taping the first video as in the second video that I, I'm about to post as well there I was showing you part of um, the town that I was from in Port Pirie South Australia it's a, a a mining town and has a smelter that where my husband had worked but the beachfront is kind of really pretty and cute and they've really done it up nicely since I've been gone in the last four years I guess and I just wanted to sit on the beach and just take some time it was the day before I left left and, and I just wanted to get this quick that quick video put up uh, put together um, I haven't got a real lot on this one I just kind of want to end everything so I'll just re-announce the winners of the prize prizes uh, previous the first prize that was going up in the video before I left to go to Australia was this Jane Austen project bag. And I had announced that the winner was Kathleen Werner. I didn't have any pieces of paper or anything to be, <laughs> to be able to, to do it. And it was quite windy, like I said. So Kathleen, you're the winner of this project bag. And the second prize was this Jane Austen crochet book. Very beautiful book that I had found previous for any of those that crochet. And the winner of that was Kim Zeman. All right, Kathleen and Kim, um, if you can hear me a bit better this time, if you want to um, send me your email address, oh, send me, if you want to send me your address through my email below, I will get these two prizes off to you. Um, that can be another nice little Christmas gift to you guys. So as I was away, I really didn't do much stitching at all. I worked on a little bit of my um, harvest. What was it called? I'm trying to think, it's not Halloween harvest. It's like a pumpkin harvest. I can't even think what it's called. I worked on a little bit of that while I was away as I sat there and watched my father stitch. But mostly I was organizing his house. Now being in Australia, we have a, an organization called Helping Hand, which is an amazing organization where the government is trying to keep old people in their homes. And I um, organized everything for my father to be safe and secure in his home. So it's going into summer <clears throat> and his air conditioner had died. So we got him a new air conditioner, got him a new electric bed, single bed, so he could get it in and out because he's having problems with his leg. I took him to the doctor and the doctor said that he's got a mind and a body or his heart and everything of a 50 year old, 
but um, his legs are kind of failing him a little bit. So he has a hard time kind of lifting himself into bed. So they got him in an electric bed so he can get him in, in, um, into himself into bed. Got people coming out while he showers, gardening, ironing, cleaning the house, um, new handrails and some ramps in the home. And uh, this organization called Helping Hands, which is amazing, they um, give all this, these products away for free to people that still live in their home and who qualify for it. Um, he's on a level three package, what they call, and all these products he gets free throughout the year for him. So I'm very grateful for that since um, he, he will be living in his home and I know that he has all these people looking out for him. Um, I also had a tough time when I was away. Um, I had a friend here, a very good friend and a, a, a work colleague who passed away. She was 40 years old uh, of breast cancer and it was a tough time. But the thing that was kind of special is she had messaged me. I had talked to her and said that I was going away to Australia to my mother's funeral. And right before I had left, she had messaged me saying that she was thinking about me and that um, two months is a long time and that she loved me. But what had happened was um, I received that message when I was in LA, but when I got to Australia, I didn't know I had, had noticed it, but when I um, got to, uh, to Australia, I had taken out the SIM card and put an Australian SIM card in because it was just costing too much from my phone here in America. And so when I got back into Australia, just a couple of days ago, I've only been home like three days, um, the message popped up and I actually saw it. So it was quite special to see um, that message from her. And I just want to send out all my love to the Bingham family and the loss of their beautiful um, wife and mother, Cheryl, and a special friend of mine. She'll be missed um, at work when I go back to work in February. Um, also, today, it's a kind of a beautiful day out, actually. <laughs> you wouldn't think so. I come from summer, and today the sun's out shining. There's a kind of dark clouds out here in my window. Um, and there's some snow on the mountains. But um, when I was away, they had some, you know, a couple of little storms and the but there's no not much snow on the ground at the moment um so when i come home uh, to when i finish here today uh, my daughter and i i'll go i'll go mail all, all your bags and all your packages and then my daughter and myself are going off to a uh a thing called festive 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 trees festival festival of the trees <laughs> i could remember it was festive of the trees or the festival of the trees it's a, a thing that happens here in utah that i absolutely love since i've been here for four years i've been to it twice before i missed last year which i was quite disappointed with and that was one of my requests when i came home that i wanted to i'm just gonna there's a message come through i wanted to um go to this festive festival of the trees it's just um a great organization they have hundreds of trees decorated you can buy them all the money made from that day goes to um different organizations over the christmas period so i kind of like to support that and i really love going to see all the trees decorated so my daughter and i are heading out to that after i finish this video i came home from australia <clears throat> thinking i had to go find all my christmas boxes in our storage unit that we have but i came out and all our my house had been decorated i've got a really cute christmas tree over here that all my house had been decorated um due to my beautiful daughter doing it for me when i came home to take off some of the stress um, so now I just kind of have to look at getting some Christmas gifts for my family and um, organising, making some bags for this coming week, some Christmas bags. I might get a few out. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so for just going to quickly announce in for 2020, I have qu quite a few, a lot of new ideas that is going to be happening in my Etsy shop. And so I will post on my Instagram and on here the things that are, the, that are coming. Um, I'm really excited about it. And I don't go back to work at the garden centre until February, like I said, so I've got the whole month of January to kind of plan and organise what I want to do for the whole year. Um, the one thing I'm really excited about, that is I'm going to have the opportunity to go to StitchCon this year for the very first time, and so I'm looking forward to that. If anyone of you that are going and haven't got somewhere to uh, a roomie, <laughs> I guess, with you yet, um, I'm going to have to look on this, the StitchCon a Facebook site and maybe find myself a couple of roomies that I can stay with but if you're going and you haven't got a roomie yet message me in the comments below and I would love to be able to spend some time with you at StitchCon. The only other thing that I'm going to do today is I am going to um, put out some more prizes for 
coming up for Christmas. I have got three of them, just three little uh, cute prizes that I wanted to give away before Christmas. I'm not sure if I'll get them out before Christmas or I'll get another video out before Christmas. If I don't, then you'll receive them after Christmas and you can do them next year, but you can still enjoy them. The very first thing that I want to um, give away, and if you comment below, the comment that I want you to do was, oh, what was I thinking? I had it in my mind before early this morning when I was thinking about it. Now I can't remember. Um, what are some of your special things that you do um, with your family at Christmas time? Like I said, I like going to the Festival of the Trees. When we lived in Australia and my kids were only young, we used to hop in our car Christmas Eve and we would drive around the town and look at all the Christmas lights um, and have my parents back at our house for Christmas Day. Um, here we have my family all together for Christmas Day and I do like going maybe to some of the Christmas markets and to this Festival of the Trees. So the very first thing though that um, I want to give away I kind of thought it was a cute thing when I saw it in Australia. I kind of thought, you know, that would be kind of a cute little gift and people can try our dear old Cadbury's chocolate um, that is very popular in Australia. And for me, I'm, I'm sorry to say, it's still one of the best chocolates in the world. And But I have to say, you guys have got the best ice cream. So the first thing I want to get, give away, um, so there's going to be three prizes that I'll give away today in this video. The first one is this little, <laughs> is this little Cadbury's Christmas stocking full of some um, Cadbury's chocolates, Christmas chocolates. So every year I would buy one of these stockings, not necessarily this size, this is a little bit smaller. Um, I'd have some bigger ones, I'd give them one to each of my kids for, for Christmas and, and I'd give them away for some friends and you know just little treats that I wanted to give, if I saw someone that I wanted to give it away I'd buy a whole bunch and, and I have one here that I want to give away in this video. So this is the first prize, Cadbury's. You can get Cadbury's in England and you can even get some Cadbury's in America, but it's not the same as Cadbury's in Australia. <laughs> I don't know what they use for their chocolate, but Cadbury's in Australia to me is one of the best chocolates in the world. And I have eaten some great chocolates. I've been to Belgium and eaten some Belgium chocolates and I have eaten some, um, some great chocolates here in America that I have some favorites, but I'm not a real big chocolate eater to, to be honest, but every now and then I have like a little treat and I have bought, did bring home quite a few um, Cadbury's chocolate bars for myself to snack on <laughs> that are alongside of my bed as treats for myself over the next coming year. But this time I want to give away this little Cadbury um, Christmas stocking. So that's the very first one that I want to give away. Um, I had posted on my Instagram account that when I was going through some of my boxes that I still have there in Australia, I had found a whole bunch of cross stitching patterns. If you look a few posts back in my Instagram, a whole bunch of cross stitching patterns that I found that I used to sell in my quilting shop when I own my quilting, my own quilting, have my own quilting business. I used to have also sell some cross stitching patterns, and I found a whole bunch of them that were brand new that I hadn't even sold that I just put aside after I moved, and they were stored in these boxes. And I'd we'd gone through. All of our boxes when we were there, restacked them properly in the shed that is over at my ex-brother-in-law's house. Um, we had a garage sale, made quite a few hundred dollars, which was really nice to help out what, while we were over there. So, um, but the thing was, <laughs> when I came home from my trip, you're only supposed to have two suitcases at 20, oh, well, sorry, 23 kilos, but you wouldn't know kilos, so 50 pounds. So um, you're only supposed to have two suitcases at 50 pounds, and I had four. <laughs> I, brought, I had to pay for two extra suitcases to come over and so I had like 200 pounds of things in my suitcases but some of the stuff was things that my mother had left me or um, things that I had found in these boxes, um, some of these patterns, even extra fabric and some lots of Cadbury's treats and um, things that I brought home for my family for Christmas. So um, when I was going through these patterns I found some that I probably will never cross stitch. Um, if I do, I've kept a couple because I thought, well, I don't have to make them into stockings. I'll just make them into a, like a long little design because they were really kind of cute. I like the designs on the bottom. But there was like six Shepherd Bush Christmas stockings. And this one's really cute too. So this is the second prize I want to give away in my video today. It's Shepherd's Bush and it's called Robert's Stocking. It's really cute. It's got some reindeer down the bottom and a little shepherd. I think he's a shepherd. A little shepherd. So I'll bring it a little closer. So this is a brand new pattern 
You might not look at it. it got a little bit wrinkled when I was in, in the suitcase. I had a <laughs> I had a carry on suitcase as well, and all that was full of was all the patterns and fabric, <laughs> and that was supposed to be ten kilos, no seven kilos, and it was ten kilos. So what's that in pounds? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so that 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 is how much um, I brought home in this this overnight <laughs> luggage. So when I got on the plane, I was always making sure that I was the one. My video just died. I don't know why it died. <laughs> Maybe because I was being naughty and carrying all this extra luggage over when I shouldn't have been. <laughs> but anyway, the second uh, giveaway that I want to do is this Christmas stocking from Shepherd's Bush. It's called Robert's Stocking. Today, Shepherd's Bush is having a big Christmas do up at their shop from 11 to 4. So if you're in Utah, you might want to get a, a chance to get there. I can't go down there today because I'm going to my Festival of the Trees. So anyway, so that's the second prize. The third prize I'm going to give away, and I thought, I'm going to make this something different. The third prize I'm going to give away is going to be a box, a Christmas box. Not necessarily this box, but it will be a Christmas box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a mystery box giveaway. So I'm going to put in, in these a little box a whole bunch of little gifts for Christmas that you will not know what you're getting. <laughs> so the lucky winner will have a receiver box with a, a few little treats. It might not this big, it might be smaller, it might be longer or wider or whatever, but inside it's going to be a mystery box and I am going to give this away to some lucky person that when you open it up, it will be a real Christmas surprise for you. So these are my th uh, three prizes. Like I said, the first one, since my video just died and if you didn't get to see it, is the Cadbury's Christmas stocking. The second one is the Shepherd's Bush, Bush Roberts stocking, brand new from um, my shop that I used to have. And the third is the mystery box the mystery box <laughs> so inside you will not know what you're getting and it will really be a nice surprise for you when you receive it so all you need to do is be a subscriber so so I press the, the button subscription button um, I will put my um, email there'll be my email my Instagram all the things all the things that I follow that you can follow to me, follow me on the sites that I that I have I will uh, at the moment I actually extended the the percentage or actually extended, extended I should say the sale on the bags that I have left I have a few um, full bags that are in my shop and I've extended them for 20% off so if you're still interested in a few bags that you might use for for next year they are quite cheap they're like $17 so if you want to purchase another bag or give away from a friend I'm going to leave that going until at least Wednesday and then I will probably post quite a few new Christmas bags that won't be on sale um, so if you are interested in any of these three prizes, just comment below the something special that you do with your family over the Christmas season. Christmas is my favourite holiday because I love to give and I love to share and I love um, to worship my Saviour Jesus Christ. I'm very grateful for all of you guys that follow me and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. I don't know if, like I said, if I'll get another video done. If I don't, please, please be safe on the roads and have a wonderful time with those that you love. And um, remember the real reason for the season. And I uh, hope you have a good, nice, uh, wonderful week, guys. Bye.